this afternoon I want to have a little look at some uh, some sort of things I like to do, sort of my personal stuff in, in terms of um, some strands that I like. Uh, they're a little bit nasty, a little bit horrible, I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Um, but stuff that comes up the back of it as well. But what should show throughout the you know this morning and this afternoon, uh, the principles should pretty much stay the same in terms of we're looking for uh, a good position on our partner to fix them. And uh, if, if we're getting the hands in for the particular kind of strangle, that we're getting them nice and high and we're using the, the thin bit of the wrist. So all that should be just reinforcing all that, but just in some different ways. Um, hopefully you'll quite like the strangle I do, uh, and hopefully you'll steal them and take them back home and strangle some people in your own club. Great. <laughs> so um, we'll get straight in. So uh, I forgot to mention one thing about the, the, the Koshi Jimmy. This is a few years ago now, I've uh, done a bit of work with uh, Inui. Uh, at Bath Uni, and um, you know, if anyone that's watched the movie or like, seen any of these footage, it's like sort of, I don't know, the epitome of a judo player, really, like on, on and off the mat. Um, but he did have some sneaky stuff, man. He, he was a sneaky little character, a well, big character. Yes, you so, carry on. I can't, I can't believe he did this. Sort of like <laughs> the same ever meet your heroes, it kind of, kind of broke me heart a little bit, yes, please. So, um, he was sort of filming with the uh, fight films and uh, they, they were going over some of the techniques he likes and he'd like to catch people with Coach Jimmy on the ground. And they were saying, oh, but what if someone, you, I didn't know you like to do it, that's one of your go-tos on the ground and, and took the chin in, so, so how would you get past that? So he says, oh, well, they've dropped in, I've, I've got a good grip anyway. So he went to get his wrist and like flick their nose. <laughs> I was like, what? I can't believe what I'm hearing. But he apparently got away with it. So <laughs> it's like he'd flick the nose and then kind of, you know, makes you do that. And then straight on the knee. So I just thought, I just thought it was worthwhile mentioning it. I'll, I'll not flick too hard. But um, yeah, sort of like just bringing it underneath the nose just to lift it up. A little bit uncomfortable, but oh, and then <laughs> I thought it was worth mentioning. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's a big hero of mine. But uh, just, just as a side note, we'll not practice that, but just a big note of it. So, uh, right. The strength I like to do, so I'm trying to bring it in. Um, I'm coming for a cross grip underneath my partner. And I'm coming under the arm. I'm doing this on purpose so that my partner feels safe. All the stuff we've done this morning was feeding in directly on the neck. You know, they know what's coming. They don't defend it, it makes your life a bit harder. So by coming underneath, we're sort of giving them a false sense of security. Next thing I want to do, I want to slide my nails down by their neck in the back there. Right. Make a fist, slide it down past the ear. So again, we're looking for those, those uh, blood vessels that are coming down the neck. And then, just knit together that wrist action that we've been looking at. So again, it's all about the position, nice and high. Feet are through the back, coming down, the side of the neck, and then just. Feet down, and then. Um, <clears throat> when I was having issues with my leg, <clears throat> this is one of the ones that I sort of talked and came across uh, because I didn't have to hook in with my leg, there was, there was very minimal risk of me sort of twisting my leg or making it worse or anything, I was able to stay on the outside and again get in on the neck and, and go from there. So I'll give it a little go and we'll build that. So, um, so pretty happy that everyone's got a nice high cross grip and everyone's coming through, that, that's great. Um, the next little issue we've got, the, the next step, um, I want to slide it behind the neck and when I get to here, I want to try and keep the tension on the jacket and slide my hand, a bit like this sort of can opener action, which isn't very nice, but it is effective. And I want to keep going around until I've got a fist inside of his neck. That's what I'm aiming for. Again, that's where the blood vessels are coming down, so that's where I want to apply the pressure. Okay, so although I go in from behind, I want to do this can opener action to bring it around, get it in position, and that's where I'm going to finish the strangle from. Both hands are working. Right. That's what I do. For yes, All right, yeah, yeah. Just imagine that's the mat, and you're like underneath it. So, yeah, bring it around. And then. Mm. So, <laughs> so, so, 
that didn't you? <laughs> so just have another little go, really try and slide it, uh, it nails to the neck, and then work your way around, can opener, and then, and go.